Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to 6 News. We have very big news today and it's a lot of leaks of the brand new operators. So first of all, there's two attackers, no defender this time, which means next season will probably be two defenders. Now this is all 4chan leaks, so take it all with a grain of salt, it could all be complete rubbish, but usually these do turn out to be actually legitimate. So first of all, we've got the gun for the attacking Russian operator. And as you can see, it's called the Spear.30 Assault Rifle. And it looks damn cool. It looks really nice. And I think I'll probably enjoy using that. And that is the weapon getting used by the female attacker from Russia. Now, the French attacker. This is the V308 Assault Rifle. And if you look at it, it's pretty much a vector with a drum magazine. And it has an ACOG. So it's... Pretty crazy if it has, now it says assault rifles, I'm wondering if maybe the rate of fire is, is lower than your usual vector, but who knows, um, we'll have to find out in game later. And we also get to know what the French attacking operator does, so he's got a drone that detects enemy movement, providing an overview of the battlefield. So I'm curious if maybe that'll actually bring up a map, like an actual map of the level, and maybe just give you an indication of where they are, rather than maybe specifics. Um, I'm, yeah, I, like it's an attacker drone as well, so maybe it hovers actually above the building. Maybe it doesn't actually go inside, but who knows? Uh, we don't have enough details right now. And you can see his lion icon, which is really cool. And of course, Ubisoft let us know that the names of these operators are Lion and Finca. Now, you'll notice here, these are the two icons appearing in the selection screen. So this is where you customize your operators before you go into a game. You'll notice that on the left-hand side, you've got all the attackers, all the way up until Dokkabi. On the right-hand side, you've got all the defenders, all the way up until Vigil, and then no other operators behind that. So we have two attacking operators. No defensive operator this time. Both are on attack. So they seem to be mixing this up and giving us two attackers. And we also have the face of the Russian attacker. She looks pretty damn mean. I think she looks like a mean version of Scarlett Johansson. That's kind of the vibe I get off of her. And we know that her nanoprobs do appear to heal uh, from the leaks as well. And yeah, pretty amazing. So this is, of course, like I say, a grain of salt with all this. This could all be rubbish. It could be a really well-fabricated fake but usually these do turn out to be legitimate and they look exactly what I would expect Rainbow Six Siege operators to look like. Um, I'm amazed by the, basically the vector with an ACOG and a drum magazine. That looks insane. Because it's called an assault rifle, I'm wondering if it, like I say, it doesn't have a rate of fire off a vector, but it might still. And of course, we've got the spear 30 caliber that looks Pretty damn beautiful, I could really see that working out, and it looks a lot like the weapon we actually do see in all the teaser images for this season. So I think, again, legitimate. I think this is legitimate and uh, correct. Now, I've gone and got the full resolution artwork for the teasers that we've already got. And if we zoom right in on these, we can make out the Russian operator, and I think that looks like the same weapon. I think she looks exactly the same. I can't quite make out the scar, but I think it's there. And also... On the French attacker, that weapon is exactly the same. It's, it is bang on exactly the same. So I think this is a real leak. I think this is real. So anyway, guys, I was expecting some leaks to come out. This is actually later than I expected. So it's good to see they're kind of holding some of it back. But uh, this might mean there's a whole bunch of leaks on their way out now. But anyway, guys, what do you think in the comments below about all this? Two attackers, really interesting looking weaponry. And... Yeah, no extra defender. You know, that's going to mean that you're picking two new operators on one team and then when you go into their team, no new operators at all. It's going to be kind of a, a bit boring. But then, of course, we'll get, I guess, two defenders next season to balance it out. Really curious anyway, for sure. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below and I'll catch you next time.